Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, welcome. My name is Maria Elena and I am a YouTube blogger, makeup blogger, makeup addict, I don't know. But anyways, welcome. And for those of you that have been following me, welcome back. Um, today I want to show you how I do the perfect wing. Let's hope that it's perfect because sometimes, I'm not gonna lie, they don't come out identical, um, but I'll try my best to make it look even. <laughs> So what I use for the eyeliner, I've, I've used different things, but the one that I keep coming back to, it's the Maybelline Master Precise. Um, I've been using this for a very long time, um, about seven years. My brother was actually the one that taught me, he's a makeup artist, and he was the one that taught me how to get that perfect wing. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, it took me a long time, um, but I believe that everything is just practice, practice, practice. So eventually you'll get it. So the other thing that I use, it's the Maybelline Eye Studio. This is also good. And then it also comes with a little brush just to make it easier to do the little flick. Um, I think this is just, I don't know. I've, I've never been able to do the eyeliner with a pencil, just a regular pencil. Um, I do use this for the lower lash or the lower liner. Um, and you know I've used other stuff BH Cosmetics just sent me one and I'm not gonna lie I don't love it but you could use it and YSL and NYC but yeah I keep coming back to the Maybelline one for some reason it works for me whatever works for you so let's start so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to dip the brush on the little pot both sides and you don't want to put too much so what I do is I clean it up a little bit okay and then what you want to do is you want to follow the lower um, your lower lash line and then just like do a flick just like that okay and then you're gonna grab some more now you don't want to start from the end because it's going to make it very thick and you don't want that thick heavy line at the end so what i do is i bring it like let's say halfway you bring it in uh, i'm going backwards but yeah basically you want to bring it in all the way across i'm gonna grab a little more and just do a line all the way just like that now you want to be careful um, sometimes you leave gaps in between the line and your eyelashes um, so you want to make sure you want to go back and fill in that gap because it's not cute um, you could either use black eyeshadow or the brush itself um, like you can see I actually have eyelashes on right now and you can see the gap so I went back and then you start working your way to the inner eye um, now this part you want to angle your brush like this because you don't want it to be too thick okay and then just to the inside see it already looks good if you want to, you can go back and then just correct the little wing. Um, another thing that I do is, if you mess up on that wing, go back with concealer. With any concealer and just clean it up. Or take a Q-tip makeup remover and just like swipe up. Okay? And then we're going to... I feel like using the pencil just to show you guys the difference. Um yeah let's use the pencil so you can see so the same thing you're gonna angle it like this Let me move my mirror you're gonna follow your lower lash line and you want to do a little that one came out you see that one came out a little thick because the brush was directly on the skin 
but you guys get the idea okay so then you bring it up or down halfway just like that and then you want to angle your pencil Now sometimes this happens, like if you mess up a little bit, just go over and I guess you might have to like just make it a little thicker. And it's easier if you have something to rest your hand on, just to be stable. So even though I use two different products, I mean, it came out okay. Um, but I just wanted you guys to see the difference between the two. Uh, it's up to you what you feel comfortable using. And like I said, this takes practice. You're not gonna get it the first time. It took me a long time, um, but I finally got it. So, <laughs> and then what I do is you don't want to just do that by itself. You want to make sure that you also fill in the lower lash. And that's up to you also um, if you like it. If you like that look, then do the lower lash. And I like this. I use the Rimmel. What color? It's just black. Black is black. Number 262 um, pencil to do the lower lash. And then it comes with a little sponge at the end which I use all the time. Let's see, it's the pencil. And then the little spongy. And there you go. I um, I think I got it pretty perfect, no? <laughs> and that's it, guys. I hope you learned uh, something new today. And please let me know if you have any suggestions. And if you want to see any other videos, don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Until next time, bye.